So now let's uh, create this product microservice and shopping cart microservice. So we'll start with product first. But before that, let me show you like what all APIs we are going to have. So in product service, uh, we are going to have total three endpoints. The first endpoint is to add the products into RDB. Okay. So in this, I will pass a list of basic information of product like product name, quantity, amount. And in return, I'll have the same data with the product IDs, which will be automatically generated. The second endpoint will be a get endpoint where we will get all the available products in my DB. And the third point will be our uh, get products based on the product IDs. So I will pass uh, this product IDs as a list uh, that means uh, comma separated IDs and data available for those uh, product IDs will be in a uh, response as a list. Okay, so this is about product service. Okay, so let's create our product service. So for group name, I'll keep it dev to prod. Artifact, I'll keep it product service. And the package name, I'll just keep it product the dependencies the very first dependency we need is web i need jpa for connecting to my db for this tutorial i will be using mysql so i'll need mysql driver connector and last i will need lombok dependency for generating my get resetters that's it let's go ahead and generate okay let me import uh, product service into my id this is my product service in my ID now. So to start, uh, we need couple of uh, packages. So let me create those packages. So the first package I'll create controller. Then next I need entity for my entity class. Repository for my GP repository. And last I need service for my service class okay so first thing let's create uh, an entity so i'll keep it product so annotation i'll use entity i will use data for my getter setters i will use table to define my custom name so i'll keep it product so in this product we are going to have couple of uh, properties so the very first thing we will have product id then we will have private product name then we will have uh, quantity then we will have private double amount so this product ID, I want it to be the primary key and auto generated. So, so I'll use strategy identity. So these are the things uh, which are required in my product entity. So for this entity, let's create a repository. product repository now I will extend from jp repository where I will pass my entity name which is product and long long is nothing but the type of my primary key so here my primary key is product id it's of type long so now we are ready with our entity and repository let's go ahead and create our controller So I'll annotate it with rest controller annotation. Now here we will write uh, total three endpoints. So the first one to add our products. So it will be our add products. So whatever products uh, we are adding, just I will return that list of products let me import list so i'll keep it add products to which i will receive my request body nothing but the list of
list of product as product list so let me call my service class method before that i will auto wired my service class okay so before that we have to create the service class so let me do that i will annotate it with service annotation okay now let me auto wired it here now let me call add products methods of my service class where i will pass this product list let me create that okay now here i will first auto wire my repository product repository so i will return repository dot save all and i will pass this product list so whatever product list i am getting i am just saving it to my db okay so my first end point is done now second end point we will get all the products from my db so for that i will return again the list of products let me create a method in my service class so i'll say get products let me create this method so our second end point is also done now the last end point uh, where we where we need to return list of products based on based on the product id so let uh, quickly create that as well so again the get mapping it will return list of products again get products by ids and here i will have this path variable which will be a list of long so let me give the url so the previous one it will be get products and for this we will keep it get products and we will have this path variable product id is list let me call my service class method product service dot get so i'll i'll keep the same name in my service class as well and i will pass this product id list let me create this method here let me use my product repository to return find all by id and in this i will pass this list. so we are good now set up our database so okay so this is my my sql workbench okay so let's go ahead and create a schema so the first schema i will create it as product schema apply and finish so now i have this product schema and we don't have table it's fine so let's go back to our application dot properties let's add those properties okay so i have added couple of properties so these are the things which are required for this product service okay so before booting our application i will add a request mapping for all my endpoints so i'll keep it products let's go ahead and start our application so now my application is up and running on 8081 so let's go to the database and see if the table is created okay so this is my product schema let me refresh it and if i go to table yes we have product now so in this we have product id amount product name and the 
quantity column so let's go to our post so i have already created a collection for my product so let's go ahead and create some products so this is my endpoint uh, localhost uh, the application is running on 8081 products and we will add the products so let's try to add some products now you see i got 200 okay so these three products i did into my db so let's go to my db and verify let me refresh and here you can see we have successfully added three products to our database and let's try to fetch them yes we have total three in our database and if i try to fetch two and three so here you can see i can have these two now so we are good on this product service